Welcome to Introduction to 3D Printing, presented by the Mount Royal University Library Maker Studio. In this video, you will learn some basic information about 3D printing. For more project ideas, resources, and information, you can go to the Maker Studio website, which is found on the Mount Royal University Library website, under Spaces. In the spirit of reconciliation, we acknowledge that the Mount Royal University is situated on the traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, including the Siksika, Gainai, Bikani, and the Sutina and the Stony Nakoda Nations, as well as the Métis Nation Region 3, and all people who make their homes in the Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta. This workshop will explain the principles of 3D printing, 3D models, and 3D printing software. Illustrate the differences between SLA and FDM 3D printers. Discuss challenges with 3D printing. Explain the process of 3D printing in the Maker Studio. And showcase innovative applications for 3D printing. At the end of this workshop, participants should be able to understand the basic concepts of 3D printing, differentiate between SLA and FDM printing, identify 3D printing challenges, become familiar with 3D printing learning opportunities and tools available in the Maker Studio, and understand some of the new and innovative ways 3D printing is being used. What is 3D printing? Well, 3D printers are machines that deposit material onto the surface of a build plate in layers. So how it works is the machine will do a layer, then move up vertically and do another layer, and move up vertically again until you have an object. 3D printing is commonly used for rapid prototyping, which is the fast fabrication of an object using computer-aided design or CAD. So before you can 3D print something, you're going to need a 3D model of it. Um, 3D models are a mathematical representation of an object. There are a few ways that you can get a 3D model, and one of them is you can design your own using 3D modeling software such as Tinkercad, or Fusion 360, or Blender. There are a lot of workshops that you can take with the Maker Studio to learn how to use 3D modeling software. Another way that you can get a 3D model is you can download one from online. A lot of people design them and sell them or give them away for free, so you could download a model that way. You could also use a 3D scanner. A 3D scanner actually creates a point map of an object using lasers and cameras and from that information it creates a 3D model. Once you have your 3D model it's time to print it. You'll have to import your model into 3D printing software such as Ultimaker Cura or Preform some of the software is open source and some of it is proprietary, so you'll have to use the software that comes with the machine. So when you import your model, the software will slice it into layers and then transform it into G-code and that information will then be sent to the printer and then the printer can print it. The 3D printing software will have a lot of settings that you can use to make sure that your print will print successfully and just the way that you want. The Maker Studio has many workshops that will teach you how to set up your print successfully. The Maker Studio has two different kinds of 3D printers. One of them is stereolithography or SLA. You can see here from this time-lapse video that SLA printers use a liquid resin as well as UV lasers to harden and cure the resin layer by layer. There are many different kinds of resin. There's basic resin, which comes in white, black, clear, or gray. There's flexible resin, durable, tough, dental. One really neat thing about resin is that it has very high resolution, which means that you can print very small prints and they will have very good detail. The other kind of 3D printing that the Maker Studio has is fused deposition modeling or FDM printing. FDM printing uses a plastic filament which is extruded through a hot nozzle just like a hot glue gun and the nozzle or the extruder moves 
under Computer Control to lay down the layers. Various types of filaments include PLA, PETG, or ABS. PLA is the most common type of filament that we use in the Maker Studio. There are many different kinds of PLA even that you can get. You can get kinds that have metal powder in it that uh, when it prints, it doesn't look that special, but after you polish it, it looks amazingly like metal. You can also get PLA that has wood in it. So when it's finished, you can sand it and you can stain it. There's flexible PLA. There's a lot of different kinds that you can get for whatever project that you're looking for. One of the difficulties with 3D printing is to have a print be successful, it must have a layer underneath the next layer. So if you have a model that has an overhang, or even imagine something like um, a model of a person who's snowboarding and their arm is sticking out, there's nothing underneath the first layer of that arm to hold up the melted plastic or the liquid resin. So what the software does is it provides you with support material. Support material will help your model be successful, but it's not always perfect. Um, so support material will start at the base of the bed plate or at the bed plate and build up with your model until it gets to the overhang. If your support is attached to your model and your model is very small, when you break off the support material, it could break your model. It can fill up small areas of your print and become unremovable. It can create scarring. So if you're printing something that has high detail, like something with a face and you have support material all over its face, when it's finished, it's not going to look very good. Um, it can also increase the cost of the print. So these are some things to think about when you're creating your 3D model. There are things that you can do to have less support material. Here are a few problems that you can have with 3D printing. If the first few layers don't stick to the build plate, your entire print will fail. It's always a good idea to stick around while the printer is printing the first few layers to make sure everything is going to be okay. If your supports aren't thick enough or not in the right spot, your overhangs will fail. If your 3D model, not the print, but the model has edges that are not totally connected or not manifold, or if it has floating parts, or if the walls are too thin, then the actual print will fail. If your material you're printing with is old or contaminated, it could affect the outcome of your print. If you'd like to have your 3D model printed by the Mount Royal University Library Maker Studio, you can submit your file via the Maker Studio website. Then the staff will print it for you and they will email you if there are any issues or when it's finished. Materials for 3D printing are provided by the Maker Studio for the purposes of teaching and learning at the discretion of the Maker Studio staff. What a lot of people don't realize is that 3D printing and 3D modeling are used currently across many industries, including medicine, dentistry, video games, architecture, anthropology, manufacturing, product design, special effects for TV and movies, the automotive industry, and unique entrepreneurial efforts. If you're thinking about getting into any of these fields, it would be a definite benefit to have some skills with 3D modeling because all of them use it. And the tool of choice to fabricate the models you design into reality as a final product or a prototype is 3D printing. Having these technologies available prepares students and broadens the scope of job opportunities they might not have considered before. If you have further questions, you can contact the Maker Studio at makerstudio at mtroyal.ca or you can email the Maker Studio staff.